Hi guys, Havika here. So I'm here with my newest painting, which is me practicing skin tones to be accurate. I am working on a Skillshare class these days uh, about choosing colors and blending skin tones. And this is one of the pieces for that class, but I wanted to share it with you two, you guys on YouTube because I really like the end result. <laughs> so uh, why hide it? Um, the Skillshare class won't be up for like at least a few weeks because I got a lot of editing to do. Editing to do. I got a few more paintings to complete and stuff like that. But I'm super excited to share this with you guys. Anyways, today I want to talk to you guys about 2021 goals, specifically art goals uh, or art related goals for me, which is pretty much, you know, business. Um, I might be a bit late to the game, but we haven't gone out of January yet, so I'm here with my goals. <laughs> 2021 going forward is going to be a lot about growing my social media. Um, the way of doing this will naturally be uploading re re regularly. Um, I'm uploading pretty much three to four times a week on my Instagram and I am trying to upload at least one video per week on YouTube. And I'm also trying to be more social and connect more. Uh, I'm not usually very good at actually commenting on stuff. So I'm trying really hard to comment on stuff, to engage more uh, with what other people actually upload. And also engage more with the people that actually take the time to comment on my stuff naturally. I have always tried to reply to comments, but I'm trying to take it to the next level these days. And choose a few people that I find interesting, that I think I have something in common with. Uh, or have something that... They, they have something that make me want to engage uh, with what they are saying and doing or showing. Um, so I'm, I'm reaching out these days and talking to a few people. And I have also recently streamlined my Instagram, uh, which means I have uh, hidden a lot of art that isn't part of the... Um, uh, what should we call it? I think mean, I'm usually very much all over the place in my art style and experimenting a lot and stuff like that. So these days I am trying to streamline my Instagram especially. I'm taking a lot more freedom on my Facebook. But Instagram, the way the gallery is set up, I feel it looks a lot nicer when I hide all the stuff that isn't relevant to the, to the actual style that I want to show on Instagram. So I have uh, hidden a lot of art, deleted a few things and stuff like that and really made my presentation on Instagram a lot more streamlined and a lot more clear on what I'm actually offering the people that follow me. And that has actually helped. Um, I feel like every time I grow 10 new followers, I also lose 11 old ones. <laughs> but I guess that's just the way it is. Um, so I'm still waiting on that influx of new followers on Instagram uh, in a more permanent way. But it feels like I, I'm, I'm securely over 2,000 followers. So I'm pretty happy about that as my as my goal for 2020 actually was around 1500 so i did reach that and a bit more so my goal for this year is around 5000 followers on instagram and hopefully the first 500 followers on youtube but we'll see how that goes <laughs> 
Um, it's a bit hard to actually put out specific numbers, but it just gives you something to to reach for. Um, but the followers, it's, it's such a hard thing to actually control yourself. And it's always this, oh, where do I go? What do I post? What do I say to actually engage with the right people? And I'm sure many of you know this problem. But yeah, streamlining, being a bit more social, engaging, uh, trying to reach out there, trying to... Uh, trying to give more than I take, if you can say it like that. Um, and besides the, the weekly uploads with art videos on YouTube, I'm trying to do some vlogging. I'm having difficulties actually picking up the camera and recording stuff uh, because I want to record mostly in the studio and these days I'm not very much in the studio because my computer is not in the studio ha 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 so it's a bit difficult to vlog a lot um, but one thing I'm thinking about doing is journaling because I really like journals and I really want to offer some uh, downloadable stuff on Etsy for journaling and planning and notebooks in general. So I am looking at a journal these days and just about ready to hit, hit that buy button and then whoosh up something for January so I can actually get all 12 months into my journal. <laughs> Talk about being late, right? Um, but yeah besides instagram youtube well facebook is pretty much going to just be its own thing because i'm mostly speaking danish on my facebook so i'm not expecting that one to grow a whole lot this year uh because it mainly grows when i'm actually going out to cons and markets but maybe it'll grow a little bit and then i'm really going to focus on my etsy so, as you can hear, it's pretty much business goals, uh, but it's all art related in some way. I don't have goals for specific things I want to paint or create or anything like that, because my general goal is just to keep painting. And the reason for that is because I actually feel like I'm in a pretty good place these days. I feel like I'm not doing half bad but i need to keep practicing i need to keep going where i'm at these days so maybe i will get a new goal during the year uh, maybe i will get some larger project project to actually work on but these days i feel like keeping up with social media keeping up with youtube on a weekly basis which is brand new for me uh, is is enough for me it's is a big enough goal and then I already have a lot of different things that I actually work on constantly I create my own watercolors uh, I just started learning ceramics and sculpting again um, I did in the past uh, as you can see on my first vlog uh, I used to make posable <laughs> what do you call it, possible puppets, dragons and stuff like that. So I still have all the tools to do that and I want to keep up with that hobby as well. So I have a lot of things to actually pass my time. <laughs> if I have lived over time. T time is an issue. <laughs> time is a really big issue these days. Um, so I'm just keeping up with painting every day because from 7 to 3 p.m. is my time on weekdays on weekends i'm with my son after 3 p.m i'm with my son so my time is kind of limited i have these work days pretty much uh where i can paint and keep up with everything do emails and i still have commissions and stuff like that so i think my goals are pretty fair for 2021 um Things I would like to perhaps do in 2021, I would love to do a scene, a magazine uh, with my art. But I don't just want a scene with random sketches and stuff like a collection. 
I want a scene that have some kind of storytelling in it without being a uh, comic book. Uh, I'm not a comic book artist. Sadly, I love comic books, but I'm not that kind of artist. I don't do storytelling in that way. But I do want illustrations that are somehow connected and tell a story and then have them all in a scene. I would love to do that. Uh, but in generally, I'm just focusing a lot on doing stuff for Etsy. So I would love to do washi tapes. I would love to love to do enamel pins and all sorts of things like that. But I also have to limit myself a little bit <laughs> uh, in, in regards to finances mostly. So I got a bigger shop update coming up in next week. I have a ton of new things, both printed, handmade, got clay pins, I got all sorts of things coming up next week on my Etsy shop. And it's going to be my biggest update to date. So I'm really excited to share this with you guys and I'm excited for 2021 and we are going to have a ton of fun and I hope to chat with you guys here on YouTube and Instagram. Anyways, that's it for me today. So like, I already knew Have fun, be safe. Bye.